setting up a few uh, post stream things. And I'm just gonna give it give it a bit for everyone to get through the ads, try and check something on my other other monitor. Oh, he split already. Cupcake Troll was here early and bounced right before I started, or right as I started. I'm not sure. Um That's a little disappointing, but I'm pumped up. Got the brand new microphone set up, you can't see it, I've got it boomed off camera. Hopefully it sounds good. Um, we got 102 followers, we got a marathon going on this weekend, super excited for that. Uh, I'll be starting that off sometime Friday night, keep an eye out for that. This does mean, however, uh, that this will be another week without a Frank West Fridays. Um, and we're probably just going to carry that right through to the end of, uh, end of Sunday's stream. Um, that's, that's basically everything in a nutshell. I got my usual kit in front of me, I got the e-cig, I got a delicious beverage, I've got what could what could be considered a bad game, and I'm okay with that. It's it's a guilty pleasure game, I, I do enjoy this as super not great as it is. That infinite slide animation, I think that was the first episode we did. Yes, I got rid of the hair. I'm glad to see you're back, because you were here before I started, and then you disappeared from the, uh... The chat. Oh, it's a little sad. Um, it sounds good. Because uh, I wasn't sure if it's picking up the fan, because I didn't have that on when I did my mic check. Um, yeah, super pumped for tonight. Delicious beverage, e cig, crappy game, um, marathon starting Friday night. Looking forward to this shit. Uh, what was I going to say? Yes. I need you to do something for me. Uh, uh, after, after tonight's stream, personal favor. Um, I believe it's the first episode. Okay, good, good, good shit. Uh, I believe it's the first episode of Wet. There's a part where I get stuck in an infinite slide animation, like trying to go under something and I just like catch the edge of it and she won't stand up or anything. I need that highlighted separately because that's just too funny to not have be its own video. That having been said, let's get this show on the fucking road. Let's get moving. What is up, bitches and bastards? Let's go. I think it's actually like the very last like 15 seconds of it or whatever because I think that was what made me decide I was done for the night. So it should be pretty easy to find. Hopefully. I forget how to play this game, I suck. I can't believe that worked with me going way off the side. Superman 64 is a god awful game. I play bad games, not fucking. like. disasters. There's a difference.
No idea where the hell I'm supposed to be going right now. I don't see any more hoops anywhere. Oh. Okay, now I do. Yeah, no, these are these are little challenge courses they make you go through because fuck you, that's why. Um, that's the short version. Uh, the long version is they're padding for an otherwise too short game. This game they do. Camera, please. That's an abysmal time, but that course sucks, so I'm not doing that again. Ugh. I don't even remember how fucking long this game is. We might end up finishing up early and then I'll have to do something else completely. I don't know. Didn't plan that far ahead. It did. It was delayed several times, and then it was published because they couldn't afford to keep working on it anymore. Unless you know where to begin. You need to find a small opening to the west of the largest rock formation. This is the beginning. From there, you should be able to find your own way. Like, a little more time, a little more polish, this could have been a great game. Instead, it's just sort of like a hot mess. Oh yeah, if I recall correctly, this is a minefield. I remember some things. Not particularly happy things. Um, I feel like there was a reason to come over this way, but I can't for the life of me remember what it was now. So I'm just gonna go this way because it looks like the right way to go. Might be like a collectible or something I got in a previous attempt. Ah! I was supposed to be wall running there. I fucked up. I done goofed. I died. Whatever. We're gonna let it rock. We're gonna carry on. Ruby clone number 497 will take over for her fallen sisters. Her mission of vengeance will not will not stop for anything. Except maybe like a visit from the Pope. That might be a good enough reason. I don't know, maybe. I wish the controls were a little more responsive in this game, too. They're, uh, not super great, sometimes. Vaguely recall it's up that way now. Really remember how to get there. That's not important right now. Oh Jesus. Ruby, you need to jump when I tell you to jump. Or even not when I tell you to jump, just 
Don't just walk on landmines. That's, that's all I'm trying to tell you. Remember if I'm supposed to be trying to go in that window or up this tower. Right out at some Yeah, jump over that let you damned if I remember anything. Instant death mechanics. Almost like a bad uncharted. Yeah. What's good? What's good tonight? It's uh Certainly not this game, so you, you gotta have something for me. Like, something's gotta be going good. Not this segment of this game in particular, but... What can you do? It's a long play for a reason. Boned. Like, if there's one thing that disappoints me about the fact that we got a marathon coming out, it's that I decided to save Bloodborne for, like, a blind run on stream just to see how many times I can die and how bad people will mercilessly mock me for it. At the same time, like, I kind of want to fucking play that already. Like, the game's been sitting on my shelf for, like, two months before I had a PS4. <laughs> Crates break, barrels do not. Good to know. I keep forgetting that's not a mash thing, that's a rhythm thing. Like it matters in any way, shape, or form, but...
interesting. I feel like there's something else I can do here. Might have been it. Thought it related more to this like barrel elevator thing. Well. Open, damn it. Put like 17 bullets in you, how are you still alive? <laughs> yeah, if only the game was as good as like, some of the cool stuff you can do during it. Then it might have been like, not garbage. Where did you come from, dickhead? There's a lot of best parts about this game. Unfortunately, none of them are just the game. There was just like hilarious things that were done horribly, unintentionally wrong. and shit. Yeah, this was this was released around the same time as uh, 
Quentin Tarantino's Grindhouse. It was in fashion at the time. It, in it increased the game's marketability. Yes. You want a piece of me? Let me take a Let's try that again. That's a tough call. I would, I would say it would come down to two teams. Um, I, I think Naughty Dog could probably do it pretty well, uh, just because they're pretty well versed in, you know, third-person shooters. But I think probably, uh, probably Platinum could would would do the best with it. It's uh it's stylistically different from Vanquish, but like playstyle wise, it's pretty similar. Where are these dickheads coming from? Probably the upstairs one on the other side of the room, but... Thanks, Envy. How's it going? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's... It's gonna get longer during the winter again, you know, when I actually need it because I work outside, but... 
it was too long to just like leave it for the next couple of months. So, they had to go. Thanks. I'm out of here. Glad to hear that. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to get the levels dialed in. I've got this huge ass room, so the acoustics are not super great. I'm pretty sure that only works for you, sir. I do not have that add on. Or that emote, or whatever. It doesn't show up in in the chat, unless it's you doing it. So, you know, something to, something to consider. Right, I forgot I picked up a babe last week. Well, they usually don't start with exclamation points, I'm just saying. Pretty sure they only work in your ch uh, when when you're the one streaming. Or show up in your chat or whatever. Or you're doing something wrong. I don't know. Personality pickle. Packed in a jar for the freshest flavor. Served cold in a sack for you to savor. So dainty to eat, no muss, no fuss. An ideal snack for all of us. Crisp, tender, and tasty with a bit of spice. Buy one now. Taste how nice. Snack bar clerks will knock themselves silly. Speeding your order for a real chili dilly. <laughs> Oh, that's disappointing. It's it's pretty quiet for me too. Where the fuck am I supposed to be going right now? I can't go anywhere. Oh, I guess I'm just supposed to drop down. Yeah, those those scenes are always super quiet. There's not a lot I can do about that. Yeah, this time she doesn't catch that ledge on her. What the fuck?
So apparently going down to the ground floor, not the play I, play I want to make here. Not allowed to do that. What the? You just decided to become like a space pig there or something. Just decided to fly. Kind of. Floor is like six stories down, so it's, you know, murderous death. And apparently they changed which floor the uh, the broken one's at. That's pretty special. This is like as far down as I can go. This is where like it wants me to be? No, that kills me too. I don't understand what it actually wants from me. Unless I just gotta kill the dudes in all those windows, in which case that's fine too. Just I'll just jump back and forth like a dozen times and shoot people in the face. Oh wait, I think I got it now. Yeah, that's that's not quite it either. The whole rest of the world disappeared though, that's kinda cool. So how's everyone doing tonight? Oh, that's always fun. Which one? <laughs> oh. That's a beta. Sounds like a terrible day. Or a good day. I mean, it depends whether or not you were early or late. Why would you want to even play the beta of a Rainbow Six game? Wonderful. And by wonderful, I mean abhorrent, but...
Yeah, this is true. They weren't all good. Um, once, once they started, like, putting them on consoles, and I don't mean the original, because the consoles were, like, totally separate games, but I mean... Once they started developing them for consoles first and uh, making the PC ports and afterthought, they went way downhill. Um, I would say the last good one is Rainbow Six Three. Um, lockdowns got awful. Vegas suffers from a lot of the same problems. Vegas Two's the same way. Original's great, Rogue Spear was great, Raven Shields was great, but then Lockdown and both Vegas's were awful. And it's it's not so much a question of you know, oh, they've had some hit and miss, it's they put out great games consistently for like seven years and then you know, they moved it to a different development company within Ubisoft and they tanked it. And I don't think Siege is gonna be any different, especially without a single player camping. Because you know, a bunch of people played it for the multiplayer, but that wasn't what what the focus of Rainbow Six was in the first place. Like, the only reason people started caring about the multiplayer is because of the Vegas games, really. Which were not good to begin with. And, uh... You know, when... When the game is short and has no tactical depth, of course people are going to play the multiplayer. Is a fucking console shooter anyway at that point. What the fuck am I supposed to get up there to murder you? I think I get it now. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Can't grab onto that. Well, there we go. Damn it. Do these dickheads keep coming from me? That's the real question.
Yeah, no, look. People suddenly cared about that series once they started taking options away from me. I don't fly with me. How are you going to water down Rainbow Six, still slap the Rainbow Six name on it, and pretend it's a good game? You're the one who killed my son. My boy. Why did you do it? Answer me! Come on! Oh, oh, oh dear. What else of value can you take from me that you already haven't? Oh, look at you. You fucking bitch. You can't do it, can you? Eh? I can! <laughs> Really? I'm getting shot during the cutscene. Oh great, guy with the chain gun too. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> Apparently I've done this mission before because I found all the hidden monsters. Apparently forgotten how far I've gotten in this game before. Who the fuck hired you? It was a setup. I was marked and I fell for it. I fucking fell for it. But you survived and they weren't expecting that. This is some bullshit. So, who set you up? I don't know. That's what I need to find out. Tell me what you know. Not much. Older guy. Has a lot of people working for him. 
Money to spare, I think. And he has two bodyguards. Some creepy chick who looks like she stepped out of some comic book. And some German cowboy who plays with swords. Rupert Pelham. Who? Rupert Pelham. He heads up the designer drug market in Asia. Keeps a lot of Hong Kong amped up on something new called Dragon's Breath. Trust me, it's... It's brutal shit. And that's why he wanted Trevor Ackers. Yep. With Trevor Ackers out the way, the Ackers Syndicate won't be around for much longer. And I delivered him right to them. Sounds like it. Where do I find Pelham? I'd try Hong Kong. I don't know what to do if I finish this game really. Guys got any thoughts? Back so soon. Hey Z. Uh, sorry about him, Ruby. I I, I don't know what's uh, never mind. Not your problem. Let's get to work. I did some digging. Found out a few things. <laughs> I could do that. What do you have? Uh, you already know about Dragon's Breath, and that Pelham runs the market over here. Right. But it wouldn't be as good. Pelham needed a way to distribute worldwide, so he formed a group called the Tiger Claw. He needed a way to get the drugs around the globe, so he enlisted Christopher Sorrell, a shipping magnate. And once the drugs were into the ports, he needed a way to ensure they were handled the way he wanted. So he got Jun Li. With their combined global connections, Pelham can do what he needs to do. Tiger Claw pretty much owns the east side of Hong Kong. Police, officials, everything. They do what they want, when they want. Nobody questions anything. And Jun Li has trained his own elite gang members. These guys, bad news. They don't mess around, Ruby. They're part of the reason the Tiger Claw is able to handle anyone not in their back pocket. Where do I find Pelham? Hmm. That's the one thing I don't know. But since Jun Li hasn't made his harbor visits a secret, the old ice factory in the Hong Kong harbor might be a good place to start. Ruby, be careful. These men are dangerous. Oh, so am I. See you around, Z. What happened? <coughs> Nothing. We need to talk. Go ahead. Talk all you want. Gee, listen to me. Load times are so long. They're so frequent. Yeah, I would say so. At some point. I wouldn't necessarily say during my show, but at some point. I would say you don't need most of them because stuff exported successfully and so on and so forth, but. Why are you saving him as FLV? <coughs> OBS can export MP4 and that's a hell of a lot easier to work with. Just for future reference, I would uh, I would change that up. 
I can go over uh, how to do it with you probably some other night or later tonight or whatever. Right now I gotta do a Crash Bandicoot 2 styled running puzzle. something I can work with. Almost. Sort of. Feels like cooperating. Apparently not. Oh, wait. I just run up this here. Now to let me make that jump. This is... This is a bunch of arbitrary bullshit is what this is. Yeah, there's, there's really not many editors that work with FLV out there. And the ones there are aren't particularly good. At that point the video's gonna look like crap anyway, cause you decompressed and recompressed it like six times. I think I've done this level before too. Not so much loss is just not really worth doing anything with. Like the, you might be able to use the YouTube video editor, but the only one of those that I would say is really worth saving is uh, the fuck was it? Uh, Mirror's Edge Part Three is the VOD muting. Oh, you didn't export those? I would say keep those two then. And and just see if you can make YouTube work with those. Um, for the future, I would recommend moving away from FLB because it will be a hot mess. Like, for the most part, it's easier to re-encode it into something else than edit it um, than it is to work with it in FLB format. Okay, yeah, I mean. Wait, but didn't you, uh. Didn't you do, like, most of the first half of Remember Me off stream? That's probably not worth saving. Um. LIS might be, just because it was muted.
fuck am I doing? I don't even know where I'm going anymore. That might be worth doing. I see where it wants me to go. Oh shit, dead. Yeah, your your reaction there was a little more little bit more moderate than mine was. I was hugely displeased with the beginning of that game. I was hugely displeased with the beginning of that game, but Ugh. No idea what this game is be right now. That's what it's looking for. this exploding bridge thing again. Ah. And failed the first jump because of course. What else? It's all good. It's all good. do this somehow. Cuts are apparently not allowed at all. All good. Also, I love how in the, the level before this one, couldn't shoot or uh, maneuver through a tablecloth. Ah! 
Like, I could slide under a table with no tablecloth. Try to slide under one with a tablecloth. That shit was made of lead. X-rays couldn't go through it. I couldn't go through it. Dudes were on the other side of it. Couldn't shoot them at all. Apparently that's all it takes. Like, like a 30 second of an inch of nylon. That's all it takes. Yeah, it works so. though. it takes. Okay, I definitely remember having done this one in the past. It was fucking years ago, but... As ready as it's gonna be.
You'll probably still be trying to get uh, Rainbow Six Siege working by then. You know, for what that's worth. Say. Not like I try to be a dick, but. Sometimes that's how things come out. Not that I don't have faith in you, it's that I don't have faith in Ubisoft. Yeah, marathons this weekend, let's go. I don't know what the fuck killed me, but that was bullshit. Just suddenly I took two life bars worth of health. Meanwhile, dude with the minigun was running away from me and wouldn't give me the prompt to kill him. Because balance. Or something. I don't have a good reason for that. I'm sure somebody somewhere does.
It's based on uh, score multiplier. Which means it's hot garbage right now. Can't even fucking remember how to get up there. Of course I missed the ball. How did I go through the floor there? I don't even want to know. I went through the floor and didn't even get to close the door, so I'm going to continue getting shot at. This is fantastic. Oh, there's a hole there. It's really tiny, so I don't know how I hit that diving through the air in slow motion without realizing it, but... Where the fuck are you, dude?
There we go. game sometime. Uh, a whole lot of dick. We've got the hours planned out, but everything else is is going to be uh, pretty much uh, spur of the moment. Hopefully that works for you the same way it works for us. Because last time we tried planning and we don't do plan. We, we do happy accident very well though. For what that's worth. We don't do plan. You'll probably see some uh, Bloodborne uh, blind playthrough from me. Who knows what else? We'll probably see some more uh, Winnie the Pooh's Home Run Derby. I can't believe I managed to get a jump in under the floor. That was kind of cool. Yeah, no, we, we don't do plan. you um, not as many as we would have liked but some I'm suddenly so tired this game man and put me to sleep All this red.
the whole fucking zipline sequence with nobody to shoot? Why didn't you just start me on the other end of the zipline and play the fucking cutscene? Pacing. Why is that bitch still alive? Take care of that fly on the wall. Whoever she is. That's actually way in the way. That's gonna go over there. Okay. Y'all can see my other beverage. Huh? Whoa! Just way too full and just leaked all over my. Because I dropped it. But I'm thirsty. So I'm gonna make this work one way. My hands are slippery. Person. I'll have to clean that up later. Still got a show to do. That's embarrassing. Um, how do I get down? Which which way is down? I guess it's this way. Whoa! Why did I land in midair? I'm gonna guess it involves that rope that I sort of landed in midair by, but I don't know for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that bitch still alive. Blah blah blah. Rope or not? Maybe it doesn't have anything to do with rope. You know, I'm just supposed to like run up one of these walls or something. jump over some shit. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just drop down the floor. Do it one floor at a time. Because sure, we have a giant zip line to get here, but not when to get down to the docks. Choices. 
One, you don't tell me what I want to know, and I slice you into pieces while you watch and drop you bit by bit into the bay. Or two, you tell me what I want to know, and I end your life quickly and somewhat painlessly. Fuck! All right, all right! You don't stand a fucking chance anyway. He's heading to the old royal opera house. No. I just hooked them up to the monitor instead of the PC so that, uh... I don't have to worry about console volume getting picked up by the uh, by the microphone. Um, and that's why when I'm playing games on PC and on Skype with somebody, I can get all the audio just through the headphone. Uh, playing console games while also on Skype is going to be a bit of a tricky one, but I'll figure that out. <laughs> I just want to stick with the pistols. Uh, I've got like three sets of these kicking around somewhere. Uh, the old black steel series one is what I used for the microphone. God damn it, it's going to make me learn the crossbows. I am still technically capturing via my PC, so I, I don't really understand what you're getting at there. But I've also captured PC games before too, so it's, it's not like that's some new thing or anything. Oh, the PS4? Yeah, yeah, absolutely uh, capturing with the uh, PC there. It doesn't look right if you just captured, like, direct from console, and... Especially on these next-gen systems where you just, like, let the console stream for you, then you get no overlay, and you get no, uh, inline mic, and the balance is awful, and... I ain't doing that. It's for scrubs. I have lost this course entirely. Guess I was supposed to come up here. This way and across, I guess. I don't know. Good enough. I hate the crossbows.
Yeah, thank you. Thank you for clarifying because I was very, very lost with what you were trying to get at. So. Yeah, I like the crossbow and half life. That's a good one. Um, I mean, if you want to get technical, I would I would classify the state gun and painkiller as a crossbow as well, and I very much love the state gun. I just meant in this game. In this game, the crossbow is ass. Complete garbage. Unusable. question. Really tough question. A lot of good ones. I'm, I'm assuming you meant ever instead of even, but just saying there's there's a lot of good ones. Um, <laughs> like, I mean, I, I guess there's, like, it really depends whether we're talking, like, modern military shooter or, or, uh, you know, generic realistic shooter or, um, or, like, full-on, like, sci-fi craziness. I mean, I guess, I guess another huge part of it is, uh, it really depends, um, on what criteria we're ranking them. Because if it's just, like, cool factor, or just overall, because, like, if it's overall, like, you're gonna find a lot of the staples. Because I do enjoy playing those games, you know somewhat competitively. So I'm sure you'll find, you know, rockets, rails, flat cannon, uh, crossbow from Half-Life. Um, and, and the, uh, stake gun. Like, that's an easy top five, but if you want me to just go, like, like, less with the with the usefulness and, and more with the, like, what do I find cool, or... Or if you want me to, to not go into the realm of sci-fi. Like, there's there's so many different ways we can rank that. So. It's, it's a tall order. Even a top five doesn't feel sufficient.
people see enjoying using the most and best guns in the game tend to go hand in hand because nobody wants to come out of the out of it a fucking loser, you know what I mean? But uh personally I ref I I really prefer uh skill based pinpoint accurate but no splash damage sort of uh Sort of reflex testing weapons like the state gun, like the crossbow, like the uh, the lightning gun from Unreal Tournament, Quake Railgun, all top notch stuff. Um, I mean, that's probably four of the top five right there. Um, it's it's a really a tough call picking a fifth after that. Um, explosives are are always good in just about anything, but. Far less interesting to me personally. A little bit easier to use. So. <laughs> yeah. There's a bunch of cool stuff in Rainbow Six, though. Okay, we could do that, but even then, it's it's still a lot of uh, a lot of just just uh, pinpoint accurate skill test weapons. Like, I don't know. I've played way too many games. I mean, I guess, I guess if we're gonna go with, uh, if we're if we're gonna list off some some cool single player guns. I'm sorry, this this game's a little loud right now. Let me turn this down. Um, if we're if we're gonna think in terms of single player guns that are just really cool. Um, now, there's there's a question I gotta ask here: Is are we talking uh, strictly single player? I mean, uh, strictly first person, or are we allowed to branch to third person for this one? Uh, the brain's sort of going to shit right now. Um, I mean, I forget which Tur Turok it was. I think it was Turok 2, but the, uh, the Cerebral War, that's gonna get an honorable mention from me regardless. Um, but I mean, a, a good chunk of that list is gonna depend on whether we're talking uh, exclusively first-person games or if we're going to include third-person games in that. Okay. Um, but I can't even think of what the fuck it's called. If I could think of the name of this fucking gun, that would be a good start. <laughs> um.
the uh, the default pistol thing that I can't think of the name of from uh, Dead Space. That's that's a great fucking weapon to start. Um, that's easily in my top five. Like the original, and actually the second. Second's a little harder to do it with, but uh, you can actually complete the entire game only using that one weapon. That's how good it is. Um, uh, the blaster from Quake 2. Yeah, I think it's the plasma cutter. I can't fucking remember. That's just like an extremely versatile weapon. It's really good. Um. Yeah, Cerebral Bore is honorable mention. I would say Plasma Cutter. Uh, Quick 2 Blaster. Even though it's like not particularly good, um, I did like a, a blaster only run. Uh, there's, I think, one place where you can't use the blaster to proceed. You can even use it for the final boss fight and stuff, and it's that's a hell of a lot of fun. Um, gonna have to go with uh, the hand cannon from Dead Space 2, which is not what you think it is. Uh, that one's pretty hilarious. Was not achieved overnight or presented before perfection was reached. For years, scientists have been working in the world's greatest optical and electronic um, to develop this system that combines let me think, let me think. Size with complete focus across the screen to bring you the perfect motion picture at last. Are you ready to rock, bitches? One, two, fuck you! The, uh, the chain gun slash rocket launcher from Painkiller. It's a lot of fun in the single player. It's kind of not as good in practice in the multiplayer because the state gun exists. It is a default weapon. Plasma cutter, hand cannon, blaster. I'm trying to think of what the hell I've played recently. There's there's so many fucking games. Um, the hacking gun from Danganronpa, another episode. That's a cool one. Are you ready to rock, bitches? Um.
I mean, I probably named more than five, but it's just... Oh, what the dicks is this? Yeah, I mean, that's about it. There's not... Um... They're all, like, really situational and kind of unreliable. Um, so I'd, I would just rather, uh... Take it out with the... the pistols. And, and upgrade the, the other combat ability. The SMGs do absolute fuck all for damage. What else is uh, the shotguns are only really good at point blank, which you're not going to be at most of the time anyway because of the diving and sliding and wall running. And the crossbows are mostly just kind of whack. Damn it. See. And you know, limited ammo, limited fire rate. It's not good. Besides, like in most situations where the shotgun would be good, you can just use the sword quicker anyway. For a shooter or for any game? Uh, currently, 
Um, actually, I guess that that's got a a caveat too. Uh, original soundtrack or licensed soundtrack? Original soundtrack's probably Max Payne 2. Uh, licensed soundtrack is probably Hotline Miami 2. Both of, both of those soundtracks are top notch. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I could find other games with great soundtracks, but those are the two that immediately jump into mind. battery for my controller is low, that happens. stairs. I didn't think it would be that fucking easy. Oh, I missed the one by the fucking chain gun guy. Good job, me. But I decided to chase him instead. Here, one guy. Then my 
might as well start upgrading some of this other shit. Not that I'm gonna fucking use it, but because I've got the points and I've got nothing better to do with them. Go, go. Z, are you hurt? Just, they just came and they just came and there was. It's okay. Settle down. Are you hurt? They just came. Are they... you hurt? No, I, I, I don't think so. Go, go. We need to get you out of here before more of these bastards just... show up. Give, give me a second. Z, there's no time. Oh, there's a mojo. Ruby, why? Why, why is this happening? Too late. Hello, Ruby. Shit! You fascinate me, you know that? I'm fucking thrilled. <laughs> you, you come into my house, my home, my castle. You stir things up, and, and then you expect to just walk out. That fascinates me. You and your little monkey guns, and you're, you're, you're jumping up and bumping around. You've got a set of balls, and that's what fascinates me. I'm sorry, Ruby. I'm so sorry. Never underestimate. Alright, so that's going to do it for me tonight. Apparently I've never finished this level before. Um, or at least not since they added trophy support, because I don't think I had it. Uh, I don't think it had it when it originally... Um, at least on my personal... I've finished it before, but... Anyway, that is that is going to do it for me tonight. Um, not a whole lot left of this one, if I recall correctly. But it is time, so I'm going to wrap this up. Um, Friday, marathon's going to start. Um, so, so schedule's out, out the fucking window for this week. Uh, I, don't, I don't really care. Uh, I'm not going to give you a rundown. You can see it all below. Both of you know the schedule by now. You've been here often enough. Um... I ain't, I ain't gotta say anything else. I shouldn't have to say anything else. There's absolutely fuck all going on. Um, yes. 102 followers still. This moment in time. Marathon starts Friday. Whenever I feel like kicking it off. Be around for probably a good 50 or so hours, if not longer. Definitely want to tune in for what of that you can. Um... Or we'll have plenty of interesting things going on. You know how we roll here. That's going to do it for me tonight for Zero Tolerance Games. This is Mike Psychotic Kelly signing out, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one, everyone.